Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the video today. I'm bringing you along with me, spend the day with me. I'm actually in the process of getting my tooth fixed. I am going to get some oral surgery done today to remove what is left of the tooth and hopefully get the implant put in. Uh, we're gonna see kind of how the surgery goes. That is the plan today. I'm gonna bring you along with me. I'm actually hanging out with my younger brother, uh, Travis today, and my older brother's in town. We're gonna see him later today, but excited to bring you along with me. It's gonna be a fun day and let's go get this tooth fixed. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. Trav and I drove up from Melbourne this morning. And as far as my fasting plan for the day, it actually worked out really well because I had to be fasting. They're gonna put me under um, to take the tooth out. And they told me that I couldn't eat or drink anything past midnight. So the not eating past midnight, I'm absolutely used to. I stopped eating last night around eight o'clock, um, but not drinking is something that I gotta get used to because I was very close. They got a refrigerator full of waters. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that I almost crap just because I did want to drink something, but no eating or drinking uh, before the surgery. And I actually brought Travis with me because they are going to sedate me. Um, so he's going to be my cameraman slash chauffeur for the day. today's video, I'm getting my tooth taken out, or what was left of my tooth. <laughs> For real. How you doing? Well, that was really quick. I don't know how long I was under. Probably, I feel like less than 20 minutes. For sure. Yep, so we'll see you in eight weeks. We'll test the implant to make sure it's solid. And then if it's solid, we'll, we'll start with the uh, restorative process. As okay. long as the implant doesn't get pressure on it, we're good to go. Okay. So most people don't eat with a flipper anyways, because it, yeah, it's yeah, right. Okay. So you can yeah. eat whatever you want and we'll use a flipper like party teeth, you know, yeah. and go out, you know, wear it. If you're not out and don't want to wear it, don't wear it. Okay. And then as far as just because of the sedation or whatever. Yeah. You won't remember this conversation. <laughs> You're kidding me. You may not. A I lot feel, of people don't. I feel pretty with it. Yeah, it's true. Oh, I got <laughs> yeah, video evidence. I got video evidence. <laughs> so coming out of sedation now, feel fine. And that's very quick. I feel pretty good. We're going to get some x-rays, kind of look at everything. Can't really see too much of a difference. There's a bigger hole because there used to be a little bit of tooth in there that they removed. And then they put in the bone graft today, right? So they put in the bone graft. So that's gonna heal for a few months. And then the next step of the process is they're actually going to put the implant into that hole, which will hold the permanent fake tooth. So two more steps in the process, but I feel pretty good right now. So make sure you take it easy today. Try to minimize your talking where your tongue's hitting that area. And you're gonna aggravate it more. It's gonna be sore, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable, but that will pass very quickly. Um, just watch what you're eating, follow those um, post-op instructions we give you, and use it as a Bible, and you'll be fine. Okay. Okay, we're here at the end. All right, thank you very you much. Know. Appreciate it. So, just um, take it easy the next couple of days. We got the tooth out, we did the implant and some bone graft, soft foods, if you feel like you, you know, you're gonna play golf today, just use your, your best judgment and how okay. you feel. And you have the take home instructions, go ahead and use those. And just, you know, I think you're gonna do great. We'll see you back in about eight okay. weeks, so two months. We'll look at the implant, test it, make sure it's good. And when it's mm -hmm. solid and ready and we're happy, we'll get you set up to get the tooth put on there. Okay, awesome. Okay. Thank you very much, right. I really appreciate yeah. it. All right, okay. gentlemen, thank you very much. I don't really feel like eating anything right now, but never pass up an opportunity to go into a Bucky's, maybe grab something to drink or snacks for later in the week. Only ever found these at Bucky's, but I really do like them. I feel like they have less sweeteners and stuff than 
most sugar-free energy drinks. I like these. I've never had the mango one before. Now, I'm not gonna be eating these right now, but I'll grab these for later. Love pickled okra, love pickled anything, so pickled eggs. Good protein snack for later. Time to go pick up some prescriptions. Antibiotics picked up. Now I gotta go find something to do for the rest of the day. I mean, I'm not feeling too bad, honestly. I think we could play golf or we could do, I mean, we could do something. We gotta talk with Eric and see what all he has time for. What are well, girls? He's gonna have them with him. So we gotta figure out what something we could do. Oh, they're at school and then Carrie's mom's picking them up after school. All right, so we decided we were gonna play a round of golf together, all three of us, I thought that'd be fun. Oh. Getting ready for the tour. Oh. Now, so Eric and I actually grew up playing golf on this golf course, my dad, I get my love of habits from or hobbies from dad he True. was always like every other year getting into a hobby one year he got into uh got into golf and we actually joined this country we club had a membership i remember we played all the time now admittedly i only played for like probably five months because okay. at the time i wasn't very good and for me it wasn't fun if you're not good whereas yeah, eric definitely. eric played how long did you play i'm still playing <laughs> going on 30 years I, I took like five years off eric, eric's been playing consistently since that time okay I have not. I'm not very much better, but. Well, I'm not any better. The difference is I'm right. more mature yeah, now that more. I can actually go out and enjoy myself even when I'm terrible. Whereas as a kid, it's like a bad shot. It wasn't fun. No, sure. How often do you play? I played twice in the last three weeks. I played twice in the last three weeks. I played twice last week, so I'm averaging about once every two years, right. except with this round. I'm just smoking them right now. I'm doing good. Are you? Yeah. I did. I played double bogey golf. Okay. So a majority were two over. I had one, a few that were one over, right. and a few that were three over. I had none that were par. So right. if I can get a par. Good shot. Good shot, good shot. Paul right off the bat. Tap it in, just tap it in. Dan, How you doing? doing good and yourself? <laughs> he's famous That's for it. I knew he was gonna hit the tree, I swear to God. <laughs> wow, Danny, that was... <laughs> Good shot. All right, so we're about four holes in right now. We are just playing nine holes. Um, and we were just talking about dinner. And I don't know what we're going to do. We may go try a uh, poke place. Yeah. Rice and uh, tuna. I think that would be soft. But honestly, I stopped eating last night at 8 o'clock. It's five right now, so I'm what, 21 hours fasted? My math is right. 21 hours and I'm honestly not even that hungry um, between the sedatives and just kind of everything, I'm not that hungry. I know I need to eat something, but we'll figure out what we're gonna eat uh, after these next few rounds of golf. Gotta try and outrun these afternoon storms. We'll see. Didn't you just leave? What are you doing talking to us already? Why are you calling already? You can't get enough, dude. <laughs> All right, good Wait, you good with Hemingway's, man? Yeah, that's cool. All right, we'll do that. All right, I'll meet you there. 
So we're going to do Hemingway's because this is a place where I've made a few different videos and my brother is in town for a few days. His daughter's getting married, but because he's in town for a few days, we wanted to go to a place that is absolutely local. So we're going to do Hemingway's, really good restaurant. I hope he likes it. So the dentist said that I had to, I couldn't eat things that I really have to bite into and there's something here on the menu that I've been looking at a few times and haven't got it before. I think I'm going to try the Key West bowl. It's essentially a bowl with pork, black beans, rice, chimichurri sauce, but I should be able to eat that with a spoon and, that, and not too much biting. So I think, I think that's what I'm going to go with. So I did end up going with the Key West bowl. But I also got to start a, uh, a bowl of the conch chowder. Which is really good. It reminds me of like a, uh, a vegetable or a beef stew kind of. Um, but with a little bit of a seafood twist to it. What do you think of the bowl, man? I think it's really good. I like that chimichurri sauce. Well, dinner turned out to be very good. I'm really glad that I went with the Key West Bowl. I've been looking at that on the menu the last few times that I've been here, and I figure, since I need something a little easier to eat, it would be a perfect time to try and it turned out to be really good. Um, well, I have really enjoyed bringing you along with me today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I was glad that I got to hang out with uh, my, both my older and younger brother. I'm glad that y'all were able to join us as well. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more, I'm going to leave another one on the screen here now. Be sure to check that out. And remember, we're not looking to lose weight fast. We're looking to lose weight forever. Thanks again, and I will catch you in the next video.